U.S. Geological Survey out with some new data that puts areas of the East Bay and San Jose at a higher risk for earthquake damage. KPX 5 Andrea Nakano with what concerns geologists the most? It's the tall buildings in the East and South Bay that could be hit the hardest. It's not necessarily the height of the buildings that experts are concerned about, but the ground below. The Hayward Fault, one of the most urbanized and dangerous faults in the United States. It's no secret that the Bay Area is due for a major earthquake. The USGS just released this map today, and as you can see, there is a 75% or higher chance of a slight or greater damaging quake hitting our area in the next 100 years. I'm worried, but it's kind of like we, there's nothing that we can really do about it, you know? From Southern California, my grandmother told me I might only live through one major earthquake, but I've lived through three major ones in my lifetime. Geologists are extremely concerned about areas of Concord, Walnut Creek, and San Jose. According to the USGS, it increased the shaking estimates by up to 25% in the East Bay since its last update five years ago. The reason? The area sits on a sedimentary basin which amplify an earthquake's big slow waves. Long bridges and tall buildings are especially at risk. I think the safety of the people is a major concern because you don't know what time of the day or night it can happen. So if it's during the commute time and you have lots of people passing by, that would definitely be a big concern because then you might, you know, glass teetering buildings and stuff like that. The USGS's goal is not to alarm people by releasing this map. The hope is that cities and residents will prepare the best they can for the next big one. You know, you just live your life and if it happens, you just hope that the best thing, you know, it's not that much damage. People don't lose their lives and that you're prepared. I think that's the best thing to do. The USGS says the current building codes do not take into account the new calculations, but this will be a foundation for codes in the future. In Concord, Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5. The advice from USGS is clear. Get prepared before the next quake hits.